A monitor wall arm can be really useful, and in this video, I'll show you how to install one. There's lots of different styles of monitor arms you can get. This one has two mounting bolts right here and a arm right here that pivots in three different points. You have a pivot point here, here, and here, so you can put it in most positions that you'll want to. And then it has the monitor mounting plate that just mounts on top, and it just kind of falls up on and into it. And then if you ever needed to take the monitor arm off while everything is attached, you can actually just separately lift the monitor off. All the hardware that it comes with is really organized and that's a nice touch. All monitors have a standard bolt pattern, or at least most do. So you have a mounting plate with just a few different hole positions and that should cover almost all monitors. With some monitors, you might need to use spacers. Mainly, I think if you're mounting a TV where you're gonna need a little bit more length in the bolt so it does come with some pretty long bolts here that you would put a spacer on if it needs to mount flat or if you have a monitor like mine where the bolt holes actually don't go that deep into the monitor there's also some more of these shallow screws there's only two of these shallow screws though so i'd be able to do one in one corner one in the other and then probably on the other corners i might just go downstairs grab some of my own washers and stack up or grind some off of the length of the tall bolts it comes with its own wrench, and when you loosen this bolt right here, you get a lot of adjustment right here around a little ball, like a ball and socket. So you can move it up if you want to change the angle of it, or you can move the tilt angle of it, and you can move a lot of different directions. And then once you get it in the place that you would want, you can just tighten this bolt back up again, and it'll stay right there. Now that can hold up the monitor. I made this little adapter so I can just mount it to the log wall without having to drill it. This is going to be really solidly mounted here with two screws and the shape of the logs. We'll mount this. This whole system is really rigid, I can feel that. The monitor arm itself is pretty well built and then with it mounted straight into these log walls, it's really solid. Connect the monitor. This moves and adjusts really easy, and one thing I really like about it is the adjustability of this arm. It can go really far back, especially in this situation where I'm pretty limited by the shallowness of the desk. It's pretty shallow, so as much room as I can get is great. And having that monitor arm that can collapse and fold all the way back to the wall is pretty valuable. This whole system really cleans it up so you don't have to have a base right here and it really frees up area because things can go underneath where the base would normally be. I moved it up one more log space and that really is just a great height for it. It's not too low like it was before and it just feels like you're sitting in a lot better posture and I can move this forward and backward really easy and whenever I do, it's not messing with the space that I have on the desk because before, like this keyboard was a big limitation because you couldn't move this any closer if you wanted to or any of these monitors. So it'll be really nice once all three are mounted, but even just having one makes this a lot better.